They said that Cappadocia may have more master potters per capita than anywhere else in the world. For instance, Chavushin and Abanos are towns famous for beautiful earthenware pottery produced there for millennia. They use the clay extracted from Kizilar Mark River with a characteristic reddish hue. The ceramic trade in this district and its countless pottery factories date back to the Hittites. In fact, the most popular items are the ancient Hittite imitation pieces, including the donut-shaped wine bottle with its unique shape and colorful designs. And this is how you use these Hittite wine jugs to serve the Hittite kings. Just like our ATV and horseback riding adventures, here's the link for that video by the way, this pottery workshop was also unplanned. We just wanted to drive around and see stuff. Anyway, we were just supposed to park across the street so I can take a pic of the Chavushin ceramic store with its incredible backdrop. But then, we also saw this little shop at where we parked offering pottery workshop at a very affordable price of 20 lira per person. So we said, why not try it? Let's go. We have tried pottery making before in Columbus, Ohio, USA, but the tools were kind of modern compared to this one. However, it was more fun and more authentic to use some footwork to move the potter's wheel. That itself requires some skills. The ancient region of Anatolia, what we know as present-day Turkey, was home to the Hittite dynasty long before the Ottomans, Romans, Persians, and Greeks came. From 2000 BC, the Hittite civilization grew as they adopted Cappadocia's barren, moon-like landscape as home. With that, their love for wine and tradition of clay pottery became part of Cappadocia's ancient heritage. Okay. 
What began as an age-old household enterprise to create essential earthenware has produced generations of craftsmen skilled in the art of traditional pottery. Every family used to have a pottery workshop attached to their home. All the sons would learn how to make pots using the kick wheel. If a man did not know pottery, he could not find a wife. Traditionally, the men used to make the pots on the wheel, and women would paint them. Hand painting is a painstaking process that was tasked to women because of their delicate fingers, while operating the kick wheel was considered hard physical labor, reserved for the men. <laughs> The instructor guided us with as much English as he knows, and we tried to follow with as much Turkish as we can guess. But then, artistry bridges any language differences. So voila, with our very limited talent, we came up with something that can pass off as pottery. We were so proud that we had to hand carry it all the way back to Istanbul. Also, we bought some souvenir teacups because they were cute and we wanted to support local business.